you need to explain very clearly what the problem you're solving is. Um, that's the biggest issue I run into, and it's often the hardest thing to find when I read a business plan is, you know, just very simply, what is the problem you're trying to solve? A great example was, like it was juryduty.com. You know, we're trying to enable people to not have to send that stupid form in, which is a hassle. You can really quickly respond online. It's a very clear and simple problem they're solving. Um, you need to explain for whom you're solving that. In the case of juryduty.com, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong. Jury sign up. <laughs> you're getting, uh, you're getting, um, you're, 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 obviously, it's very obvious who the, uh, who the solution is targeted at. One thing a VC I think will shy away from is somebody who's trying to solve a problem for everyone. There's, there, there's some focus that needs to be in here. You need to be targeting somebody pretty specific uh, with the option to expand outward uh, ultimately, but I think showing, demonstrating that you understand that it's a specific segment or a specific kind of customer you're going at is important. The third is that um, you need to talk about how valuable it is to solve this problem. Why you're lowering the total cost of ownership of something for the company, why you're getting them more revenues, why you're lowering their inventory costs. There's hundreds of examples, but be very clear why it's valuable for you to solve this problem. Uh, and then finally, why your solution is actually distinctive relative to others. What angle or uh, kind of hook you have on that? Is it the capabilities of the solution? Is it the fact that you've, anybody could do this, but you've now spent two years developing something, and for somebody to start now, it would take two years for them to catch up with you. So the distinctiveness is actually the, the degree to which you're ahead of, of what would be an obvious solution. And then the third, obviously huge one in many cases, is IP. Be very clear about why you have some intellectual property that's distinctive um, that no one will obviously come across. Um, let me move to the third topic, how. In terms of a style, how do you need to uh, kind of communicate this information? Most important thing in my mind is to stay away from concept and go right to specifics. You know, the, leave the concept for marketing PR. The VC wants to have enough detail so they can ask the right questions. The most annoying thing for me when I sit in presentations sometimes and listen is I have to then ask the question, so what does this really do? And if you have to ask, so what does this really do, uh, you guys are you're not getting your, your, uh, your objectives met. Uh, you need to be not wordy, but you need to put in enough detail uh, and specific information and be very precise. You know, uh, I don't think the VC in a meeting with you will shy away at all from detail. They obviously don't want, you know, uh, verbosity, but they do want detail. And then lastly, um, back up what you're saying with facts, and specifically facts associated with uh, what I'll call new news, not conventional wisdom. So I don't think it's very helpful to say that Forrester says, you know, there'll be $1.7 billion spent in B2B. Everybody knows that. You can read about it in the paper all the time. Layer into your presentation some facts that, sh that, again, meet your objective of demonstrating that you really actually understand something. You have some hidden insight that actually will surprise the VC. Ah, I didn't know that X percent of whatever used X ten times a month.